Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Okay, this video is pretty much the same exact setup as the last videos. Uh, it's just um, demonstrating simple, basic over unity free energy. Okay, um, it's the same setup. Uh, only thing is, I am now able to power this 7 watt LED light and still maintain uh, the over unity so it's running off of uh, the over efficiency output okay and now it's still not 500 percent or 600 percent but it's 116 percent the efficiency dropped a little bit uh, you gotta realize the circuitry uh, in our box here is is a load in itself so we're really just looking at part of the energy right here and I'm still able to uh, show 116 percent efficiency uh, I've also been able to do this on a, a little motor with a uh, fidget spinner as a rotor um, and again let, let, let's take a look at exactly how this is set up here's the entire uh, setup right here right here's the power source power supply it's uh, plugged into the wall right down there it's there plugged into the wall kitty there uh, so this is a 12 volt supply now I'm down to just three meters okay I lost a meter reading voltage but we can solve that by uh, this is the meter reading voltage right now it's set on the output the negative here and the positive here we can just switch that off and put it across our power source to read the voltage on the input and while, while we're speaking of the uh, voltage if you look at that Uh, not a lot of voltage, it's a few millivolts, and uh, it's the characteristic of the capacitors that are inside here. Uh, so, let's just blink this on real fast. Just blinking it on just to show you the voltage. And off, see how that drops. It's like a capacitor would. So, there's no batteries, okay? why it's doing that but uh, anyways something we haven't seen that so let's you know I'm lighting this as a load this is the load we're going to be measuring um, and it's placed in between the two positives here there is one load inside of here and this is the second load so I guess you could say there's two systems here one system in here one system here. So what we're really doing is we're measuring the voltage across the entire system right here and right here. And the current running through our second system back through over here through our second system. I got the negatives connected together. So this energy source right here is in parallel to this and this load. This load then is basically in series with this load. Okay, so let's turn it on. And the reason I'm also using this uh, LED light is because uh, uh, I can keep a really nice steady measurement here. As with the motor, it's not so easy to do. So here we go. There's the light. Lots of light. Lots of light there. Okay. Now, uh, we look here, we got 578 uh, milliamp current, or 577 or 
3.577 amps on the output input, 479 milliamps or 0.479 amps. The voltage is 11.74 volts. So now let's take this negative off here and place it over here on the power supply since we only have a three meters, I guess, switch one off. Take the positive off here, placing it over here, and we got 12.15 volts. So you can multiply this for yourself. We got 12.15 volts on the input, as well as 477 milliamps coming going into our device and what's coming out is 575 milliamps current as well as we'll switch this back off and get our output voltage okay 11.7574 volts so here I'm actually able to maintain the over efficiency of free energy uh, pretty pretty steadily 475 we saw that was like 12.10 volts or so on the input as well uh, you know I never asked for donations or anything like that if you guys could help out with another meter so we can get more accurate and this is accurate enough and having another meter there to put the, that uh you know the last nail into the <laughs> coffin here to get that voltage uh reading on the input as well and on all the input and the output but there it is now how can we put less wattage into this system and get more wattage out of the system and still light this LED light here? It's a 7 watt LED light. How do we do that? All right. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please share this video. I think it's important for the world to uh, see the possibilities here. Um, please share, um, like the video, and uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.